Hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Pisces and Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages, okay? Like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you so much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. It is loved and appreciated, okay? Uh, God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, Cosmic Gods, all beings of the highest white light, only with the best interest of me and the collective at heart, you are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please, please, please give my beautiful Piscean Seer family the best and most accurate information for them at this time. Hey, y'all, what's up? So, this is a Pleiadian reading, okay? Um, I got a couple of numbers and an animal, but I'm going to pull the overall energy first. And I didn't take notes, so I will be Googling. <laughs> um, all right, what's the overall energy, please? Whoa. We got Gemini with the communicative, okay? Um, I don't know. I feel like I need, I need some more information, okay? We got Libra with balance, okay? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So I feel like um, we got the wild femininity at the bottom of the deck. I don't know how I feel. Let me see. All right, so it says the fast moving energy of air with mutable flow and suggests that you consider every option, every facet of a situation before taking action. Okay, the communicative. The key phrase, I think, means that the motivation is centered on gathering and assessing as much information as possible. In this situation, ask, what do I need to know more about? Follow your curiosity and don't stop until it is satisfied, okay? So be your own detective at this time, okay? Like um, anything that you need to know, okay, it is right here for you to get, okay? All you have to do is talk to spirit and ask them, hey, spirit, what's going on, you know? <laughs> is this happening? Is that happening, you know? Um, some of you guys get visions and things like that, okay? We got the visionary. Somebody's an Aquarius, okay? You could be a Gemini, or have those highly aspected in your chart. But of course you don't have to. This is like a cosmic message. So it says Gemini energy is very fast moving. And can easily get distracted. Okay. So avoiding distractions. Very important right now. Okay. This is what they're also saying. Like watch. Uh. The channels of communication that you're trusting in or just, you know, going along with like do your own research too. you know, learn as much as you can about a situation before you make up your mind about that. You know, listen to yourself. OK, we got Sagittarius with the world explorer, which is really just giving me like when it comes to what's going on in the world. Here's Libra again. OK, Um so, you know, I didn't even say you could be a Libra, okay? Or you could have Libra highly aspected in your chart, but I feel like it's just the energy of Libra, okay? <laughs> um, I'm going to read that next, okay? So it says, there are so many things to be curious about and pay attention to. Reel that in a bit and make sure you stay focused and avoid flightiness, okay? So it's like... Um, even when it comes down to like what you want to do in life, you know, or whatever goals it is that you're trying to accomplish, you know, like have tunnel vision for that thing, you know, don't try to overextend yourself and, and do all of these different things just because you know, you can, you know, things will pan out a lot better and easier on not only you, but your spirit guides, because they're working on making sure that this thing happens, you know, of course they're helping you with everything that you do, but if you overextend yourself, then it makes it a lot harder. Okay. For, for you to get this help. Okay. Because it's important to your manifestation, like that you're sort of just focusing on one thing, putting all of your energy into manifesting that thing. That's how you make the time speed up for that is what they're saying. OK, it says the discerning energy of air takes on the cardinal solvent quality. This is Libra. It says, OK, so Libra's energy is solvent. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> 
The cardinal solvent quality and encourages identifying and solving problems. The key phrase, I balance, means that fairness, justice, and everyone getting along are the primary motivational drives. In this situation, ask, how can I manifest fair and stable balance? Ideals are beautiful things and very good guides. Ideals are guiding stars and the desire for fairness, commendable. However, in the real world, ideas rarely exist in pristine form and justice elusive. At some point, decisions need to be made, avoid indecisiveness, okay? So I just feel like right now, you're really balanced, okay? Your mind and your heart are, are communicating clearly what you want to happen, okay? <laughs> and so, um, like, there's a need for you to take that outside of you. And also, like, there's no need for you to be indecisive at this time because you're being ruled by your intuition, okay? This is what happens when, you're, when your head and your heart agree on things. Your intuition is just like... All right. Yes. No, no. Yes. You know, and it's very clear all of a sudden what, which way you should be going and which things that you should be doing. You follow your intuition to this awe and ecstasy energy and just have the gratitude and, and pride in yourself, knowing that even though it's not here, it's already done. But it's like at the end of the day, you're the catalyst for the change that you want to see in yourself. You are the catalyst that makes the change that gets you to your destiny. So you have to um, be very aware of that, you know, and be very aware of how you're interacting, interacting, okay, in with the different, with the vi different mirrors in your reality that, of you, okay. <sighs> what else? <laughs> so we got third eye activation, okay, brow, inner vision, and clear seeing. I feel like. Um, there's a lot of people seeing things very clearly at this time, okay? <laughs> and um, it seems to be freaking people out, okay? It says clarity, divine healing, high vibrational energy with the crystal skull wisdom at the bottom of the deck, okay? It's like there's this collective clarity, okay, that's happening at the same damn time, okay? So um, there, it's just... You're in very high vibrational energy, though, you know, so you need to pay attention to your downloads. OK, I feel like you're getting an abundance of downloads. This is what it says on this card, abundance of downloads, regeneration and success and then Pleiadian activation. OK, coming together, harmony in the heavens and resolution. So I feel like um, you're seeing things very clearly. OK, <laughs> you get messages right from the Pleiadians. OK, from the I am presence also. OK, from the divine straight messages. It says light body activation and accessing the divine within like you've done it. It says Akashic Stargate aligned with purpose, crossroads, no wrong path. You might be feeling like, you know. You 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 could misstep in some sort of way, but you really can't. Like there's no wrong way for you to go at this time. And you have to just communicate clearly between your mind and your heart and between other people, like you are the keeper of the balance, okay? And since you got this amazing third eye activation, it's up to you to maintain that balance, okay? Well, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do this. <sighs> Because I want to look at, okay, Stingray first. So it says a Stingray appearing calm in your dream indicates that you need to address current issues in your life with similar serenity. So you could have dreamed about a Stingray. It says, if you see a humble and calm stingray, it means that you should give priority to the main matters in your life. It will help you not to waste time and resources. So it says, it's a symbol of caution. Stingray spirit animal may appear to you when you are too impulsive in your decisions. Okay. So they're saying, because I was saying, you know, you know, your heart and your head agree, and then you're just like, boom, 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 you know, 
So they're saying like, just slow down in between the decisions, you know, that's kind of what makes a decision impulsive because you didn't take a moment to think about the, the decision that you are making. Okay. So it's like, yes, you have the divine on your side and you got cosmic guides and you got all of that, which is all part of the divine, you know, but it's like, you have all of that. But if you're moving too fast, you're not giving spirit time to work on these things ahead of time. You know, you're not mate, you're not communicating with your spirit guides that this is what we're going to do. And then starting to take te steps towards that. You're just jumping into things and then wondering why things could be not working out for you. Okay. Yeah. It says, I don't know how to say her name, but it says uh, tradition. So this could be something that like a pattern that, that needs to be broken. Like, yeah, we got Oshun with justice. Okay, so maybe... I don't know, what else? We got Osupa with vision. Change and the key, okay? So they're saying, like, this is the key <laughs> to, like... um accomplishing the vision okay to receiving the justice to making this big change that you keep hearing about that's about to happen in your life okay you have the key but it's it's a simple thing okay it's as simple as you slowing down and being like uh, let me let me think about this you know what was it saying it says Symbolized old emotional issues coming to the surface in your waking life. Yeah, cloud meditation, look up. And it says healing. I don't know. It's like this is connect and trust. This is what they keep giving. It's like it's like even though you're connected, you really don't have that trust. So this is why you don't stop and be like, Spirit, should I just like I don't do nothing without stopping and being like, Spirit, I ask Spirit like <laughs> like a hundred times, like, should I do this? <laughs> like, are y'all sure? Like yeah, because they're your protection through everything that you do. And also they provide this next level of clarity for you. But if you don't communicate with them <laughs> before you just go off and do things, okay, then it's like you're stepping outside of the blueprint and it causes this chaos to your balance. And then they have to come in and restore you, but you're jumping into something before they even get a chance to restore you on the thing that you already you know, just got done trying, okay? Like, this is what I'm really getting. So I feel like it's just, like, all about the way that you're communicating with the divine and with yourself. It's like, it's good that you push yourself and things like that. But rushing into things can be very dangerous. We got the two of cups. But I feel like this is something that, yeah, with the four of swords, I was going to say this is something that you're healing right now, though. This is something the Pleiadians are helping you to heal because it came from some sort of like trauma or something in the past. What is the ten of swords? The happiness, the four of wands. What else? I don't know. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. I just feel like you could have had your happiness taken before. And so when it comes to going into something, it's like, oh, let me hurry up and do this. Because I don't, you know, before I miss this opportunity. Because somebody could have made you miss opportunities in the past. But this ain't that. 
Yeah, this ain't that. With the death at the bottom of the deck. So I seen the Queen of Cups, you know, it's up to you to like check yourself emotionally, especially when it comes to making financial decisions. Like the King of Pentacles didn't become the King of Pentacles by just uh, making foolish leaps of faith, you know. The King of Pentacles is a manifester, okay? The King of Pentacles is a master manifester. Like he knows exactly what to do. He knows that he is the wealth. And so he effortlessly attracts it. And he knows exactly when to take a leap and when to lean back and be like, hey, let me let me think about this. This is not sitting right with me. And he and he in it for the long run. You know what I'm saying? Like he willing to wait and be patient for the money to come in right and not necessarily fast. So it's like you are the key. Why did the empress and the emperor fall out <laughs> together? Balance. It's like it's like using the masculine and feminine energies within yourself to make decisions, okay? Because there's this same type of image on the vision card, but it was two females, you know, so this maybe I've covered it, you know, like maybe that was why you were so impulsive with your decisions because you were making decisions with your feelings or you could still be making decisions with your feelings. And you need to <clears throat> you need to balance that out by allowing your masculine energy to come in and, you know, be the thought in that. The masculine would be the brain and the feminine would be the heart. Yeah. With the king of swords and the ten of pentacles. Bringing in the energy of thinking about things first. Really assessing the options, okay? And what it is, you know? And not forcing yourself to juggle and balance things. That's going to leave you in a more wealthy place, you know, not only within yourself, but also it's going to make you feel more secure in your guides and in your guidance that you're getting because you're listening and you're following it and it's getting you to a better place, you know. It's like, this is the devil and the chariot and the six of cups. So it's like, in a way, you know, <laughs> in a way you were like chaining yourself to things that you weren't really meant to be a part of in the past. But now that you're seeing this a little bit more clearer and you're actually receiving these messages, you're making more forward movement than you think you are. Like you're spiritually further along than you think you are. You're extremely cosmic, okay? <laughs> first off and so your messages are on another level okay they are, they are different i'm hearing i am not the same i am a martian okay yeah we got drum with dream and journey and then we got trust your talents and trust your talents in changing times okay so I don't know. I feel like you could do a lot of journeys in your dreams. I'm also getting that listening to drum music will really help you. But it's just like you need to really truly trust in yourself. Because it's kind of like um, putting all your eggs in more than one basket, you know, because you don't trust the decision that you make if you put it one in one basket, you know, like you don't have enough faith to put all the eggs in one basket and really trust and believe that that's going to work out. Even when you, when it doesn't look like it's going to work out. It says stay rooted and grounded. And then it says harness mystic energy. It's like rooting, rooting and grounding in the sense of like grounding a manifestation, okay? Like you have to give it so much attention and energy, okay? 
before it'll grow and ground and grow more into that thing that you want it to be. But you have to have the patience and balance for that. You have to be really sure, like I said, with that tunnel vision, that this is what you want to happen. Yeah, with the stag, trust and thrive, okay? Now I'm going to look up one of these numbers, okay? 3443, which is a mirror number. Which is just really giving me like, like there's something that you're needing to tweak, like within you, something that has to do with the way that you make decisions that's going to change things within you. It's like, like you make little jumps and moves because you don't feel like you, you, your sight, like you feel like there's a such thing as too high because it says set your sights higher. Like you believe like there's, there's a, there should be a cap on your imagination so you don't get too excited. But the Pleiadians are saying you need to shift your perception on that and dream as big as you can, seeing beyond your current situation and not seeing, you know, what you think it's just going to be. So, um, 3443 is a sign of encouragement that all your hard work and dedication will, will be fully rewarded. An abundance of success and wealth is coming your way. It says it can indicate that you are moving into a time when miracles of all kinds can be manifested, create the stamina and stability. The empowering social agent in the community, it will help you to rise against illiteracy successfully. I don't know. So it says health, intuition, confidence, honesty, and inner wisdom are a few examples of what 3443 can represent. It says, it says the significance of this particular number rests in a higher goal relates to the field of money and hobbies and says that your persistence to trying to keep your independence, okay, will definitely pay off. So that's what it is, too. It's like, <laughs> yes, you're persistent, you know, and, and your guides love that about you. But, like, you need the energy to create. Spirit guides, okay? <laughs> so it says looking for signs, philosophical discussion, and supervision. Like pay more attention to what they're saying. Because when you're like, you know, uh, uh, you're thinking about things really hard, you're getting all these signs, you know, but you're so kind of caught up in what it is you're thinking about looking at it, like not really looking at it from a higher perspective. Like, hey, I got a whole team who can help me, you know? Like I got cosmic guides and everything else going on. Why aren't I just looking for signs? to get more of an answer, you know, the cosmic gateway. Like this is how you really open it up. It says insecurities, connection with others and refocusing. Like it could, I don't know. You could worry about what like people are gonna think, you know, about your connection that you do have with the divine, about the fact that you get messages and you know, you might see things or hear things, you know. It might have you could you could have been very psychic since you were a child, okay? And it just you're just tired of people <laughs> like judging you for it, like you're just over it, okay? But we got soul family, you know, because this is exactly where your guides are. It says happy reunions, support, and order from chaos, you know. Like the more you communicate with them, the more backup kind of comes, you know, or the more you can reach out to like different <laughs> like different parts of your soul and all of the different souls that your soul has collaborated and worked with okay like a, a whole nother level of awakening to your light body it says independence brings comfort past restrictions and ancestral healing so maybe because this, this says independence you know Maybe you could be someone who jumps into a lot of different partnerships with different people based off of this vision of what you have that's going to go down. 
but then you don't communicate clearly with that person what it is that you want to do. And they're also saying like these things might not work out because it's just you're just not meant to work with anyone else. You're meant to do something, your spiritual thing independently. OK, like you have a team, a spiritual team, like spiritual soul family. It says energy medicine. It says sacred space. Seeking a higher truth, discernment, a better path and authority. Like you're meant to be the authority, the leader, the, the leader, okay, of, of your journey and what it is that you have going on in your business and in your life, you know? Whoa. It says forgiveness, redemption, rebirth and regeneration. So it's like, I don't know. Maybe you also need to forgive some things. I feel like this is like all over the place. <laughs> so I hope it's resonating, you know, because I feel like they're like, there's one big thing that they're talking about. Okay. But see challenges, blocks, fears, and negativity and betrayal. It's like, even if you did, this is what they're talking about. They're saying you might as well just forgive the people of the past, okay? Because that could be getting in the way and causing more challenges. But also, it's like even if you want to let in a new business partner or work with someone else, you know, there's kind of a block there, this fear, this slight negative feeling or emotion about, you know, or suspicion that someone's going to betray you. And so it's like in that case, and that keeps you frozen, okay? This guy is in a block of ice. This is this holds you back a little bit. So you're going to have to forgive that and release those those issues, you know, and if you're worried about getting betrayed or whatever, then just don't work with nobody. Just work alone. Because at least that feeling of, oh, my gosh, you know, who's doing me wrong? Who's, you know, trying to take like this is this is what they're saying. Like, <laughs> like this is there. What which part of this is the bottom? Oh, Yeah, it says celestial assistance, angelic messages, guidance, and enlightenment. Like, this is a big thing, okay? Yeah, inspirational creation, alchemy, the elements, and innovation. It's almost like this is in the way. Like, so much so that this is what the Pleiadians want to talk about, <laughs> okay? This is what they want to talk about. This sort of like mistrust or this block or fear that you have about like working with others in, in no matter which way that this, I was saying like professionally, but this doesn't have to only be like a professional thing. Okay. <laughs> this could also be a family dynamic or whatever it is where it's like, you don't trust these people so much, or you don't trust these situations so much because you've been betrayed so much in the past. Like you need to embrace the energy of forgiveness because it's kind of getting in the way of your dreams and of your spirit guides talking to and connecting with you. They need you in this place of balance to make better decisions with uh, when it comes to other people as well with bringing in more of your thought and less of your emotion. Because this could be getting in the way of you attracting people who are really for you or keeping the people who are really for you around just because you feel like they could be negative or trying to block you in some sort of way. So then it's just like, no, well, I just can't work with you at all because I can't trust you, which I can feel 100%, you know. <laughs> Um, but let me see. I'm going to look up, uh, 227. That's the next number. Do, do, do. So it says a reminder to trust yourself and your abilities. It also asks you to listen to your intuition, especially when it comes to decisions about your life purpose. Okay. <laughs> it says advises you to have confidence in yourself and is a reminder that you are on the right path. Everything is working out the way that it should. Okay. And it would be a lot easier if you go ahead and break this sort of pattern in, in your life, you know, because the first thing that came out was tradition. It's like this is something that was passed down, you know, now is what I'm getting with this two of cups. I feel like it's up to you to put this to rest, you know. 
start to like forgive people, even if you don't necessarily let them back in and work with them, just the, the act of forgiving them is going to release these blocks and fears and any negativity that's coming, you know, which is in turn going to mirror in your reality as you not attracting people who are negative or who are willing to betray you. It says, um, when we stay true to ourselves, yeah, it says, is a sign from the angels that you are taking the right steps and should continue to do so as it will lead to positive results, okay? It says it carries the energies of balance, harmony, spiritual awakening, inner wisdom, and manifestation. I'm going to just read the other one, too, because I'm almost done. It is 3.32... So it says, um, 332 angel number means you can focus your mind on manifesting your desires. It says angels are guiding and assisting you along your divine path. They ask you to maintain a positive mindset. Um, your angels. Oh, a sign from your angels that good things will be coming your way as long as you put in the work and faith to achieve them. And also, you know, trust issues with other people gets in the way, like it causes trust issues with your spirit team sometimes, you know, because it's like you don't completely like there's some part of you that doesn't completely trust yourself when it comes to other people, which is what I was saying about those quick decisions. You might make quick decisions when it goes to messing with other people, you know, not really taking a second to think about it or get that help from spirit. And then it's like, damn, you know, now you don't trust you to make a good decision on the people that are around because you didn't take the time to think about it before, you know, or assess that person or get to know that person a little bit better. So this is what, you're, what um, the Pleiadians and your spirit team is helping you to heal at this time. It says it's a reminder to have a positive outlook toward your dreams and aspirations and is the only way you will be able to achieve more. Mm -hmm. All right, what else? Yeah, we got the nine of cups. Like this is gonna bring in like this major energy this big wish fulfillment, like it's like you're expecting this great energy upgrade, but you still, and you're getting it, you're receiving it, but you're not going to be able to fully experience it until you embrace the energy of forgiveness a little bit more, you know, like really get into it. Okay. Journal is what I'm hearing. Think about it, reflect, reflect on whatever things have hurt you or that you've been through in the past and gain a better understanding of them. What did you learn from them? Yeah, with the two of cups, I think it's like, what did you learn from these past relationships? And also this is going to attract, excuse me, these new relationships to you. We got divine <laughs> and the nine of crystals. Okay. Like. So what's the final thought on this? <laughs> they never talk about the kind of stuff I, I think they're going to talk about <laughs> in these cosmic readings, okay? <laughs> what's the final thought? Yeah, angel of balance. Perfect, because that's that was pretty much what I was talking about this whole time. Angel of love, okay? And then we got all tied up. It's like if you're really truly operating out of the energy of love, out of the loving energy that your angelic self carries, then you're not holding on to old things. Like it's easy to forgive and still say, hey, I love that person. I love everybody and be genuine about it, you know. So. It says this loving presence holds a picture, a picture, okay, of liquid light in front of the pyramids, reminding you that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation of personal balance and emotional equanimity, okay? Although things may have been out of sync in the past, this card is telling you that a greater equilibrium is now coming to your life. Remain conscious about how you are balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energy as well. Whenever you feel yourself getting 
being off center or losing focus, call upon this beautiful angel and bring your intention into your heart center. Your intuition will lead you in the right direction and the angels will guide you to a peaceful and centered approach. Okay. So the affirmation says, I live a balanced and centered life as I care for myself. The universe cares for me also. Okay. And then it's on page 155, this affirmation, you know, so it's like following your intuition to these big changes, you know, if you feel like weird, you know, if you feel like, you know, me, when I feel strange, you know, emotionally, when I'm just like, I don't know what's up with me today, you know, I sit down and just talk to spirit, you know, like what's going on, you know, what's going on in my subconscious that I'm not aware of, or, you know, what is, you know, how is, what is the advice for my higher self or whatever, you know, this is why I recommend that people get cards, you know, for things like that, because they're amazing for growth, you know, they're not, they're not really meant, you know, I mean, <laughs> they're meant to get the tea, you know, but that's not like they could be, it could be used for such deeper things, you know, different ways of knowing yourself and finding out different information about how yourself and like how you tick. You could literally use these cards to become your own therapist. Okay. With the help of spirit, of course, and really see the changes in yourself, see yourself becoming more well adjusted, more, you know, having more mental clarity and seeing things more clearly. So maybe uh, tapping into your own, the channel that you are and really finding better ways to figure out like what the, about the different parts of you. The Pleiadians could be, um, they're saying like sending ideas. Okay. <laughs> they said sending ideas, you know, sending like, um, little articles for you to read about, you know, putting things right in your face, you know, and it, you look at it and then like scroll past it, you know, like um, those little things, you know, when you just feel that tiny little pull, like, Ooh, I, sh I like that, you know, I should watch that or whatever, you know, um, or that looks interesting. They're sending you ideas like that, you know? So just because something looks like something you wouldn't normally be interested in, watch that thing. If you're attracted to it at first glance, you know, they're, is usually something in there for you, you know, something for you to receive some sort of like cosmic information. Okay. It's all out here. Okay. It's everywhere. It's in the music. It's in the, it's in the TV. It's in the, it's in everything. If you have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Okay. So just pay attention. <laughs> and with that, I'm done. Okay. I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. And I will see you later. Bye.